What is up guys? We are back with another video and today is a very special day because it's Ryzen 3000 series launch day. So we have all of the new processors and we've been hearing about these processors for about the last six to eight months now. A lot of leaks, a lot of, you know, better performance than Intel and things like that. For me, I'm really excited for all of the extra features you're going to get on the X570 chipset. Um, but, you know, it's really exciting. It's probably one of the most hype launches of you know this year completely everybody's been waiting for it so let's just jump right in today we're checking out the ryzen 9 3900x and the ryzen 7 3700x two different processors at two different price points so let's go ahead and check it out All right, guys, to start things off, let's go over packaging. We didn't receive the normal packaging. AMD sent us their review kit, which came in a pretty nifty box. It has the AMD logo on the top left and says AMD Ryzen on the bottom right. Opening the box up, we have our retail processors displayed right in the center. Going over packaging, AMD has changed the look of the Ryzen packaging from the previous generation. Instead of a darker gray box, we have a more light option with a sort of design as the background. The Ryzen 9 box, which is new, is slightly larger than the Ryzen 7 box. Starting at the front, we have the Ryzen logo right in the center, and then down in the bottom corner, it lets you know what series processor you have, whether it's a Ryzen 5, 7, or 9. On the left side of each box is a little blurb about the included Wraith Prism RGB cooler. Moving on to the back, we have some information of what all comes inside the box. And then on the opposite side, the Ryzen 7 box actually displays your processor, while the Ryzen 9 box says, built to perform, designed to win. The Ryzen 9 box does display your processor, but it's right at the top. Inside of each box, you'll of course find your processor, the Wraith Prism RGB CPU cooler, in a pamphlet with installation instructions as well as warranty information. Getting into the specs of each processor, the Ryzen 9 3900X is a 12 core, 24 thread part with a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz and it will boost all the way up to 4.6 gigahertz. It has 70 megabytes of AMD cache and a TDP of 105 watts it is going to retail for $499. The Ryzen 7 3700X is an eight core 16 thread part with a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz, boost clock of 4.4 gigahertz, 32 megabytes of AMD game cache and a low TDP of 65 watts. This chip will retail for $329. With the Ryzen 3000 series, AMD has implemented some new features to bring even better performance. First, they have worked directly with Microsoft to optimize Windows 10 for the Zen 2 architecture. This is done with topology awareness and faster clock ramping. The next feature is AMD Game Cache. AMD has doubled the L3 cache size from the previous generation. This helps drive game performance. In the graph here, you can see that moving from 266 megahertz memory up to 3200 megahertz memory does give you better gaming performance, but then when you double the L3 cache, you get even better performance. The final feature that we wanted to highlight is PCI Express 4.0, which you'll see, of course, on the X570 chipset. Now, this is going to be taken advantage of first by storage solutions, so definitely stay tuned for some incredibly fast PCI Express 4.0 M.2 drives that we'll be covering here on the channel very soon. When it comes to testing, we'll be running both an Intel and AMD test bench. The only real thing that's different with these two systems is the processors and of course the motherboard. So here are the specs for each system.
right guys so a lot to talk about with these two processors and we'll first talk about the ryzen 9 3900x at its price point of 499 it directly competes with intel's core i9 9900k or the 9900kf uh, which I don't believe is out yet and we don't have one so we couldn't test it anyways. Um, but in multi-core workloads, it beats the pants off the Core i9-9900K, um, as it should. It is a 12-core processor going against an 8-core processor, um, but they're both pretty similar priced, so it's a good comparison. Um, but you know, if you're doing multi-core workloads, you're gonna get much better performance out of the Ryzen 9 3900X. Um, and as far as gaming goes, it's really close, um, but Intel still has the upper hand, at least in our test. Um, the 9900K and even the 8700K did slightly better in gaming, in real world gaming. Um, you know, it's like a few FPS difference. And I think that, you know, if you're looking to build a new system right now and you're deciding, and you're a gamer and you're deciding whether it's Intel or AMD, specifically if you're looking at the 3900X or the i9-9900K, I still think the 3900X is the better bet just because you're getting more cores, you're getting a better ecosystem and everything like that. And in all honesty, like three to five FPS in a game is not something you're gonna notice, especially, if you know you're playing at over 60 fps anyways like three to five fps is not a whole lot to worry about you know intel can still say they're better at gaming by it but it's a couple fps and i really don't think it's that big of a deal i know i know a lot of people when you see all these reviews come out they're going to harp on that intel's still better at gaming but it's a couple fps it's not a big deal and you're getting so much more value with the 3900x more cores and, and everything like that um you know the the uh <laughs> the ryzen uh 7 3700x that kind of slots in with the i7 9700k we don't have one so we couldn't test it but this is an eight core 16 thread processor Intel's is a eight core, eight thread processor. So you can just tell, or you already know that it's gonna be better in multi-core performance. Again, gaming's not gonna be as good, but for $329, which the flagship, the Ryzen 7 2700X launched at last year, um, you know, you're getting a great processor, eight core, 16 thread, $329, better performance over last year. So it beats the 2700X um, only, or not only at single core, but at multi-core as well. Um, so you can see AMD has made a lot of improvements. One specifically being their game cache. So they've doubled the L3 cache on all of these processors. Um, so you're gonna get better performance in games that way. Um, but just over the previous generation, you're, you're about like 20 to 25% in multi-core and around 15% in single core, at least in our testing. Um, so a much better improvement as well. And again, keeping the pricing the same, it's just a better value. And talking about value, both of these processors in all Ryzen 9 and Ryzen 7 processors do come with the Wraith Prism RGB cooler, which is actually a decent cooler. Um, it saves you some money in the beginning. You know, all of the Intel processors don't ship with a cooler, so you have to buy one. With this, you can buy the processor, comes with the cooler, and then maybe, you know, next paycheck, you can pick up an AIO or just a better performing CPU cooler. So, you know, just a great value here. And we'll have links below to both of our written reviews. And those written reviews actually have even more testing. And the one thing that I didn't talk about is overclocking. We were able to get both of these to 4.4 on all of their cores. So on all eight cores on the 3700X, and all 12 cores on the 3900X, um, very stable as well. It's kind of like a chip lottery. And again, the uh, the ecosystem or the you know the platform, the X570 platform, isn't that mature. We've already had, at least on our board, we had two BIOS updates within the past like three days. Um, so they're doing a lot to make the platform more stable, but I still think 4.4 on all of the cores on both processors is really good. And overclocking is extremely easy. We did it all in the BIOS, 
but it was literally three settings that we had to change. I think anybody can really do it. Um, we have directions for that in our uh, full written review as well. We will also have in the description uh, links where you can go ahead and pick both of these up. Now, if you have any questions about either of these processors, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And definitely stay tuned. We have a lot of you know Ryzen 3000 series, X570 motherboards, PC Express 4.0 stuff coming up. So definitely stay tuned for that. We would appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you enjoy our tech content. Until next time, catch you guys later.